We've done cheeseburgers on the griddle and we've done pizzas on the griddle. Today we're combining the two and making a pizza cheeseburger. You wanna see how we do it? Stick around while we dig in. Hey, welcome back. I'm Adam. I'm Brett. And we are the Wall Twins. If this is your first time here with us though, welcome. welcome. Consider subscribing and hit the notification bell so you don't miss anything that we do here, whether we're at my place in the backyard diner or here at Brett's place, the Brickyard. Yes, the Brickyard Diner. Fun house. Why not? <laughs> Fun house? <laughs> we are so happy for many reasons today for yes. this specific upload. First and foremost, like the title says, we are doing a collaboration with none other than the, the Flat, Flat Top King, King. Neil. Neil, so excited that you are willing yes. to do this with us. Thank you so much, and by the way, We've got some echo going on here. We're still facing some Central Florida weather uh, out there, so we didn't get a set of Seems like it's been here. raining for weeks, huh? <laughs> <laughs> With all these videos, a lot of the, st the storm has got us kind of filming under, uh, in, in the area where we get a little bit more echo. We haven't soundproofed this yet, so. Our apologies, but thank you for putting up with us. But Brett, yes. super happy to get to work with Neil the Flat Top yes. King on this. And a little something else too. And we'll uh, get to that in the groceries. We'll, we'll get, get to, to the, the groceries. groceries. But first real quick, Neil is incredible. If you don't know who the Flat Top King is, you gotta check him out. In fact, let's give you a little dilly dilly about who he is right here. Hey guys, welcome to Flat Top King. Today is the maiden voyage, the very first cook on the Pit Boss Ultimate Griddle. You guys have spoken, we have listened, and smash burgers, dang it, here we come. The question is, can you get the crust? We're about to find out. I'm gonna treat this just like a standard smash burger. I'm not gonna try anything different first. I wanna see how this comes off the griddle. Can we get the crust? I don't care what happens in the video, it's about can we get the crust. I got some non-stick parchment paper. We're gonna do the same thing, 10 seconds. The only thing that I'm gonna show you is the proof is in the pudding, which means when you ask me a question, I'm gonna to try to replicate it on the griddle. If this gets a crust, that, that, that at least answers 50% of the question. Look at that dang reaction right there. Oh, hell yeah. Oh my God. Oh, oh. You can say what you want. I know it could be missing a little bit right there. But look, four patties, almost 100% coverage. Come on now. Come if on. that's good enough for you, it's good enough for me. I think it's fantastic. I do not think if you compared it to another one that the average Joe is going to be like, man, you made this on a non-stick griddle. Nah, no. Nope. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to press that subscribe button, pound the notification button, until next time. Hey, what are we cooking? Comment below. Dealy, dealy indeed, Adam. <laughs> I don't know why, that just reminds me of an old video when you said dilly, we're gonna do this little dilly dilly. 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 Yeah, that was hilarious. Neil is incredible. His channel is blowing up right yes. now. He truly is the flat top king. We really appreciate the knowledge that he has yep. and so many good things that he brings to his viewers. So if you get a chance, check him out. And when you do, be sure and tell him that the Wall Twins sent you. Yes. You don't have to tell him that, but it would just be nice. Could you, you do us a favor? Yeah, you don't have to tell him that, but we do appreciate all that he's doing. And for sure, if you already know Neil, if you know the Flat Top King, then you know what we're talking about. Exactly right. But we're excited on this one. So we got together and decided, hey, we want to do these pizza cheeseburgers he was in, and we don't know what his is gonna look like or yep. anything like that. We can't wait to see his take. So as soon as we're done, we're checking out his upload and we can't wait to go and see it. But Brett, yes, we've got the groceries with something special there. That yes, we here we go. So as you can see right here, we're going 80-20 beef, which we will be incorporating a little bit of salt and pepper and Italian seasoning making this almost like a meatball and we're gonna smash it. Ooh, yeah. Then the cheese today is this creamy melt mozzarella cheese with Philadelphia cream cheese in it, makes it extra melty. Topping you with this Victoria marinara sauce, pepperoni, and these New York Texas toasts is what we're using for the buns. Right, now we take you behind the scenes if you will. <laughs> we are so excited, we are actually going to be unboxing 
our, uh, well, what we can only assume is the silver play button, right, Adam? <laughs> Either that or it's, or, or it's our pink slip our from pink slip uh, for YouTube. YouTube. They just now, package it we are, we are so honored to get to have our, our, our YouTube play, silver play button. We have not looked at it yet. I, I've had this for a couple weeks now, waiting to open this with Brett, and I'm, I'm, I'm geeked about geeked, this. I'm me super too. excited Still about Still waiting this. on mine to get here. <laughs> right, <laughs> well, working on it. Uh, right. So real quick, I just want to tell you what we're going to be doing with the burger, and then we're going to go lay up and yeah. smash it okay. down. So we are going to do the smash style, so we're going to do two doubles, and all what we're going to do as soon as we smash them and flip them, we're going to put a little marinara, mozzarella cheese, and then double those up. Then we're going to pull those, and then we're going to build the rest. Oh, and then we're going to put so the pepperoni. pepperoni. The first thing we're well. going to do is actually toast the toast. Yeah, toast. Toast the toast, toast the buns, and we'll go from there. Let's just get to the process Here we go. rather than talking about it. Here we go. Yep. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna get our to toast ready because we've used this. Now this is from Frozen, but these have been out a little bit, so they're starting to thaw, and so it won't take very long, but we've had it take a little bit too long or not long enough, so it's better to just have it ready and set aside. So that's what we're gonna do. First, first thing I'm gonna do is not lay butter down. So actually that would Ooh, be nothing. Yeah. Right, I don't need to lay butter or oil down because this is, well, it's got garlic butter on it. So gonna put it there. There we go. I was gonna say that side of the griddle's not on. I forgot I turned it all yes, on. Yes, this is on low. This is uh, what we call toasting level. <laughs> <laughs> so we got the toaster on. Yep. By the way, you know we've done ten, t uh, plenty of smash burgers and of course we're doing the pizza cheeseburger, but we wanted to do a smash burger because we wanted a chance to use our new heavy duty Pit Boss Smasher. Yes. There they go. We got one side done. Well, with those. Nice, it's ready to go. <laughs> Brett and his tongs. Nice, perfect. So that is definitely the hot areas I cranked the heat. Oh, I forgot I turned the heat up. Kill that one there. All right, those ones are just about done. We can pull those off to the side. Yep, we'll get those ones just another minute here. All right, and then I'm gonna get ready to smash some burgers. What I did is just real quick, I've got the ground beef here. So I just loosely packed these meatballs here and uh, I've got four of them. They're about two and a half, three. Actually, these are closer to three ounce meatballs. I, I don't have my scale out here. I've just done it enough to know. Now I'm just using a little bit of oil just to kind of help with this a little. And dude, listen to that. That one's a little bigger. So we've got four. Now when you're doing smash burgers, you want to make sure, give yourself a little bit of space so that the meatballs don't stick. Yeah. Now, if you're familiar with our channel, you know, you've know you probably noticed that we do smash burgers different ways as far as what we use. Sometimes we don't use anything for protection. We just smash them down, no stick. Sometimes we'll get it and it sticks. One thing that I found that I just like to do more often than not now because of the many, many times we do smash burgers here, just grab parchment paper. It, it just cuts out any of the sticking to the, to the press at all. All right, so um, one thing that I was gonna do is I was gonna go ahead and flip that, but since we got the parchment paper, we don't have to. Yep. But I get to use this first because it is mine, but Brett, right now we're going to layeth the, the smasheth down. down. That's right. <laughs> now Adam's gonna hold for about a nice, slowish 10 to 15 counts. And also, uh, when I'm doing smash burgers, if I'm cooking for a lot of people, I really only keep it to about four to maybe six burgers at a time. Therefore, I can control the time and the uh, control the cook because when you're doing so many, these cook so fast that if you do like 10 to 15 without help, you're gonna be in a load of hurts by the time you get to the last one and the first one's already cooked all the way through. You have to hurry up and flip and cheese it and go all the way down. That's just what I do. And I do cook lots of smash burgers for lots of people, but because it is a fast process, it, no one sits around waiting very long. Now, Brett, I can't remember when we set this up with Neil, if he's, if we said we were doing a smash style. We did. I, okay, well, I'm interested to see if he's gonna do smash or if he's just gonna go ahead and do a regular cheeseburger, pizza cheeseburger, regardless. Now, I can't wait to see, the dude's creative. I can't wait to see what he oh, comes up with. You know what, Adam, look out. Coming in with the seasoning. Yep. Now, normally I season the meatballs first, but Adam said he's doing it. This is the way he does it. He salt and peppers after he lays the smash it down. So we're doing this, and because this is a pizza, we're gonna add this, make it somewhat like a meatball, and add a little bit of Italian seasoning. So we're gonna be quick with this next process. Yeah, sorry. So no, you're good. Here's what Marinara we're gonna do. Marinara or soon, cheese. As soon as I flip, Brett's gonna put a dab of, so see, I use my scraper here to get underneath, and look when we flip, boom, Maillard reaction. For all the people that told me you can't get a good Maillard reaction, on the, the non-stick, there you go. And that Italian seasoning makes this smells like a good old fashioned meatball. Are you ready? Yeah, go ahead and get going on the first one. 
Look at that, Brett. Dude, that is beautiful. Crustification. Now, we are going to be using more marinara in the build. We're just getting this on the burger, and then we're going to follow up with the mozz cheese. In fact, speaking of, and as soon as I get this on and this starts melting, we're gonna pull these up and put, oh, we gotta get some meatballs. Oh, no, or we some, some pepperoni. Peps. Sorry, go ahead and get the pepperonis on here. And we're not skimping on the cheese, Brett. No, no, we're not. All right, so this is pretty much the last part of this. We're gonna steam this up. Here's how I kinda wanna do this, Brett. Okay. While that's on, I'm gonna take that. Yep. Double stack it, oops. Pepperoni came out from underneath, so that one's going back on top. And then I'm gonna steam this and dome this. Look at that. All right, we're gonna go ahead and plate these up here. Well, there they are, Yep, Brett. there they are. I was gonna let you say something. But well, there they are. <laughs> How about that? And what are your thoughts? Uh, my thoughts are, uh, I, uh, I don't even know what to think. <laughs> this, it, it looks amazing. I, so I'm already it checking does. off all the boxes, but uh, this is pretty, <laughs> this is very impressive, man. This is, I'm, I'm so excited. The fact that we decided to use Texas toast as the buns. Right. Oh. And, and I gotta say, we are super excited to uh, see Neil's take on this. See yes. what creative he, creativity he came up with on his. Can't wait to see it, Neil. Again, you gotta check out the Flat Top King. Yes. Go, in, go over and tell him the Walt Twin sent you and give him some love. He's got a great channel, a great thing going over there. He's a positive guy, great energy, and we just have really enjoyed getting to know him. Yes. Also, don't forget to stick around after we dig in. We are gonna unbox our silver play button. Yes. We'd love to share that moment with you. So please stick around for that as well. But Brett, yes. like we say, it can look amazing. It looks amazing, I already checked that box. Right. <laughs> like we say, it can smell amazing. Can I get a smell yeah? Smell Hell yeah, you can. <laughs> yeah. But if this doesn't taste amazing, then this was all for not. not. Cheers. I'll eat to that, my, my brother. Mm -hmm. That's a good meatball. Mm -hmm. That's a good meatball. Mm -hmm. That is so satisfying, bro. That is very satisfying. The Texas toast. I don't know how I would want to even try it any other way unless we made a bun and like garlic bread. Mm. The mm. Italian seasoning, I, you and I were a little skeptical because it had such a strong smell when I was putting it on, but it actually works really well with this burger. It, the, the burger tastes like a meatball. Okay. Yeah, this, this thing is unbelievable. <laughs> it's so, so good. So satisfying. And the cheese, we, I thought, are we using too much cheese? Really no such thing in that. You're moment. correct. Yeah, you can't over cheese a pizza. This is one of those, that flavor is so savory, just sticks around in there and like I can still just taste that. Man, I absolutely love that. I'm so happy we came and did that one. Me so, too. So happy. Good. I want to keep talking about it, but we do want to get to the unboxing. Yes, let's do it. Went to grab the silver play button. We may or may not have had another bite. I'm not. What? Who, who knows? Who's to say? Hey, it didn't happen. But here we go. We are super excited to get yes. to open this. All right, you here ready? Here we go. And let's go ahead and take a gander. Whoa. What? <laughs> it's the black play button. <laughs> play button. Oh. Whew. There, there she it is. is. Hold on, wall twins. Look at that. This is incredible. Uncredible. Incredible. Oh, this is, this is incredible. That's so incredible. There it is. It's got hooks to hang it, and it will go very nicely <laughs> right, <laughs> right there. What do you think? This has really been a long time in coming, and this is, this is part of the dream, right? So to yeah. actually get to see this in the flesh with our name it. on it. This, this means the world to us. This is, this is really important. Thank you, YouTube. Yes. Thank you, YouTube. Thank you, everyone that sub obviously subscribed. Uh, if you haven't subscribed, we appreciate it if you did right. because the next is a million. Right. 
Neil, we got to get you here, brother. Yes, Neil, anybody here that is not subscribed to Neil, we, we highly recommend that you subscribe to his channel because he is so great from anything. He cooks on so many different griddles. He is also a part of the Pit Boss team. He has the uh, ultimate griddle as well. And little things like uh, that I was mentioning, he recently did a video on different spatulas for different griddles, including the ones that we use here on the Pit Boss Sierra. So you can check that out with Neil. He did it a couple weeks ago, but go over, check him out, send him the Wall Twins love, and uh, we appreciate you for doing that. And again, thank you for 100,000. Right, it's so incredible, and it's, it's absolutely humbling, and we're so happy to get to share this journey with you. To all of our friends, to our community, thank you so much for the love. We can't wait for a million. Hashtag yes. road to one Ro mil. Road to the gold. Uh, but this journey doesn't end here. This is, no, this no, is, just, exactly. this is a major leap, a major step for us, but we can't wait to share more. Exactly right, because this is what we want to do full time for both right. of us. So. We absolutely love it. Thank you to everyone, especially to our Patreons, those who give us love as well. If you want to learn more about becoming a Patreon, you can check in the information below this video for information on that. Yep. Brett, aside from coming to do this collaboration, to eat this banger yes! of a burger. So good. And to really get to share the love of this amazing Is it worth award. the wait? This is worth the wait. It was. Let's get to a million right. faster. No kidding. <laughs> But why else are we doing this? Because all we do is twin, no, no matter what. what. And with that, we bid you adieu. And, and don't forget to like and subscribe. And grin along. <laughs>